Welcome back to ESPR Boxing's YouTube channel. Delighted, as always, to be joined by Danny. We are in preview mode. Look at the fight at super middleweight taking place in Quebec, Canada this weekend. Christian and Billy, the undefeated Christian and Billy, the puncher, faces Sergei Derenchenko, um, who, look, needs no introduction, has kind of gone, gone in there against the top guys over the years with a record of 15 and 5. Before we go any further, if you enjoy this video, please do give us a like and a comment, and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Danny, we'll get right into it as always. It's an intriguing fight here in Billy, the 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 the, the, the favourite. We saw what he did last time out against against Mark Heffron. Um, is this guy the future at one six eight? Is this guy would this guy be a genuine threat to Canelo Alvarez? How how high do you do you rate Christian and Billy ahead of the the fight against Devranchenko this weekend? Difficult to say in terms of level. I think. This will tell us a lot about Christian and Billy because if you look at his record, very impressive. A lot of impressive performances recently. A lot of stoppage victories, as you alluded to, but never fought a top bracket 168, I think it's fair to say. Now, whether you regard Dervin Jenko in his current form as a top level 168, I think it's another question. But, you know, he showed plenty against Jaime Mungia in that fight of the year contender last year. And, you know, we got a, a, a unanimous decision victory last time out against Vaughn Alexander, who is a decent sort of gatekeeper at 168. I don't think there's anything more. But in answer to your question, and Billy is one of perhaps a few fighters, I think, just waiting for Canelo to retire or vacate the belts. I don't think that fight's ever going to happen. I wouldn't have thought. So remains to be seen. Still 29, still got time, but still questions to be answered, I think. And a short answer. Yeah, for sure. Why why do you not see the Canelo fight happening, Danny? The reason why I ask is Canelo is facing Belanga um in mid mid September, so very soon. Um there doesn't seem to be a plethora of massive names at one six eight. Obviously it feels like that fight against Terence Crawford has been ruled out. So if you kind of if you're searching for names at one six eight, so if Canelo's gonna fight at one six eight for the next three or four times and then retire. Names include Diego Pacheco, which is obviously a big name. Chris Eubank Jr. has been 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 rumoured, but there's not tons and tons of names. There's there's guys that Canelo has beaten already, who he could maybe fight again. Caleb Plant, Harry McGee as examples. But is the Mumbili fight? Is it too dangerous? Is it just not a big enough fight? Why 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 why, why do you not see it happening? It's a fair point you make in terms of the talent pool at one six eight, maybe not being the deepest. I just think, um, I mean, Billy's just signed with top rank. Now, I'm not sure what Canelo's current situation with PBC is. I don't think he's ever done a deal with top rank. Not that I think off the top of my head. It's been Golden Boy, Matchroom, and then this sort of free agency slash weird situation he's in with PBC. Um, another thing is, is if, if Billy looks like he has in recent showings against Devranchenko, I don't think Canelo will want to fight him. I think stylistically, he... Even if you favour Canelo to beat Mbilly, Mbilly, I think his record sort of flatters him. I don't think he's this like one punch KO artist, even though he did stop Mark Heffron in like whatever it was, 30 seconds. It's just more his stamina, the accumulation of punches. I mean, I was at the fight against Rowan Murdoch, and I mean, the amount of punches he throws around is pretty crazy but he landed so many clean on Murdoch and Murdoch didn't actually go down he got stopped on his feet so I think just that high output style if it does translate to a good win a stoppage win over Divrinchenko Canelo will probably look at that and think I could maybe do without that so mm. that's sort of why I, I don't see Canelo fancying a trip to Canada I don't know how much appeal there would be in a Billy fight in Vegas so a few reasons yeah, yeah, no, look, we'll see. As always, look, he has to get past the opponent on Saturday night first. And it's not it's not a given that he's going to win on Saturday, in my opinion. I had a quick look at the betting odds. Devranchenko, a three to one just to win the fight. Um, we'll go right into it, Danny. See, look, we both had time to think about it. What do you think is going to happen? Because, I mean, in Billy, maybe kind of a padded record. Devranchenko, I feel like he doesn't have the prettiest record. However, if you kind of deep dive into it, he's lost some top fighters and he's also been 
unfortunate to lose some of those fights. I think that Golovkin fight particularly speaks out to me. That was a fight that a lot of people thought he was unfortunate to yeah. to lose. Thirty five now, I believe, so possibly past his best. What's your What's your prediction? What do you think is going to happen on Saturday night, Danny? Oh, I mean the Mungia fight, as I alluded to, showed there's still plenty left. How much that's taken out of Dervinchenko, we might find out on Saturday. I think and Billy might be a bit too fresh, too physical, as I mentioned in the output. Again, the fact the fight's in Canada. Uh, Eye of the Tiger are really getting behind and Billy. He's probably their second biggest star after Baturbiev, and that's like a, another cool promotion of the little top rank. Um, so you'd imagine Dervinchenko is going to have to do a lot, if not stop him, to win. So I would favour him, Billy, maybe in a close points decision. Maybe Devranchenko wins a lot of the early rounds and Billy's gas tank sort of takes over and he nicks it. But I agree with you. I think it'll be a competitive fight. Um, it's definitely the best name he's fought by quite a bit. Yeah, for sure. And look, I think Devran Jenko, look, he's been down in his career. He's never been stopped. Whereas in Billy has look as an impressive an impressive KO record. So we'll see. I think it's one that has gone a bit under the radar, if you ask me. But it yeah. should be should 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 make for a pretty good fight. Final question, Danny. What what do you think is going to happen to all of these all of these belts? Obviously, this is for a WBC Continental. I'm not some sort of WBC belt. I'm not, enti I'm not entirely sure what it's actually called. Canelo obviously has given up the IBF. Um, I I, I believe, and it's hard to yeah. keep all, all of those governing bodies happy, isn't it? It's hard to kind of stay undisputed or even unified champion for for so long. Um, do you think Canelo? Has any intention of maybe relinquishing another belt or two anytime soon? Do you think he may let go of all the belts and maybe kind of go after those kind of big massive fights, whether it be against Bivol rematch, Peterbiev, Terence Crawford, somebody at middleweight? What do you think is going to happen to all those belts? And can you see possibly Christian and Billy fighting for a world title in the next 12 months? It's hard to know where Canelo's head's at. I mean, I'm glad first and foremost, that finally a governing body has stripped them. The IBF have probably sort of notoriously been the strictest one. I mean, he's not going to get stripped with the WBC, as he? Mauricio Suleiman's not going to strip him anytime soon, so it would require him vacating, but I I can't see that happening. So, unfortunately for the likes of Christian and Billy, I think this is the one belt you could sort of bank on Canelo keeping, um, which, unless a fight between Canelo and Billy emerges, and I can't see him fighting for. Um, the more I think about it, like it's not that far fetched that he could fight in Billy. Like, mm. depending on how this fight goes on Saturday. Um, but as I say, Billy is definitely one of the front runners in what feels like an ever growing queue at one hundred and sixty eight. Which is why I think Canelo like needs to either like start vacating titles or start fighting the best contenders. But that's another video, I think. Yeah, well, we've, we've run out of time for this one, but we'll see. Christian and Billy, Sergio Devrenchenko taking place in, in Quebec, Canada, this Saturday night. Danny, thank you very much for your time, and I'll speak to you again soon.